Welcome in CAC PHP tutorial. In this tutorial, we will create a simple component using CAC PHP. So, creating a component is very simple in CAC PHP. We have to just give a simple command to create a component. So, I think you are already familiar with CAC back command. So, let us start and let give a simple CAC back command to create a component. So, I am mean, using here Visual Studio Code. So, they already given a terminal option. So, if you don't, if you are not using Visual Studio Code. Then you just go in your Windows command prompt to generate tagback command. I think you're already familiar with tagback command. So let's give a simple command to create a component. So I'm just opening my terminal. And here you can see I am already in my project folder. So this is my project folder. And for give tagback command, we have to go in bin folder. So I'm just uh, typing cd, that means change directory and go in bin. Now I'm going to give a simple command cac back component and then name of my component. For example, I'm going to create a component called test user. Test user. Just then hit on enter. So my component has ready uh, in this uh, source folder there is a folder called source src and there is a folder called controller and in this controller there is a folder called component and in this component there is a uh, file called test user that you are seeing in here so this is actually my component i'm just uh, close my panel terminal panel and this is the component and then now we will write a simple method to save a user or a test user so i'm just writing public function save user and I'm going to give two parameter in here I have a table call users and there is a username and email I'm going to take these two parameter first one is username and second one is email then I will go in CAC PHP documentation and uh, this is the URM and this URM uh there is a database access and urm option and here you can see the saving data example in here that means insert data from urm so for that we have to register our table first so we have to use this class that table registry i'm just going to copy this line and paste it in here and then I'm, I will just uh, at first we have to register our table. So if you are using CAC PHP version 3.6 or less than 3.6, you will use you will use this table registry get this method. So if you are using if you are using greater than 3.6, then you have to use this line. That means get table locator then get method. So I'm just going to copy this line. Not only this line, I'm also going to copy this uh, five line from here to here. Copy this whole bunch of code from here and just paste it in here. So now Let's change the variable name. So this is the article table. Our table name is users table. So I'm changing the variable name called users table. And uh, my table name is users. And then this is this will also be users table. And it will be the variable name. I'll, I'm just changing user. And changing this article to user. And this is the username. And this is the email and then as a value we will take this username from here and our email will be this email then going to remove this line also this line and also this condition and then I'm going to save our user table here using the save method and that will be the user variable and after semicolon we already created our 
uh, method in test user component so now it's ready for use now we'll go in our any controller for example i'm going to use my users controller and here at first we have to load the component so for load the component um, you there is two way one is uh, if you want to use this component in your every controller then you have to initialize your component in your app controller like that so there is an example that means the flash component you need in your every component so we have uh, load this component in our app controller but now if you don't need this in your every controller if you just need this only in your users controller so you have to write the same thing that you have written in your app controller so we have to give in this initialize method and in this initialize method you have to load your component using the load component method so here i'm changing this tutorial to my component name so my component name was test user so after save the test user now i'm ready to use my method so i'm going to down and here i'm going to create a simple method in my users folder so i'm going to just writing public function test and here at first i am stop rendering template because i don't need to temp any view template for this test so i'm just uh, giving this render false render false so it will not uh, render any view uh, otherwise it will give an error so now here we we are going to uh, call our component so our component name was test component test user component so i'm just writing this and then test user the name of my component method that was save user and then i am going to pass two parameter first one is example john username and then password uh, sorry email then i'm going to write this john at the rate of test.com now to save everything if you just go in your browser and just uh, after your project name just uh, type the controller name that's this users and give the method name that's called test and after hit on enter it will save the, so before save let's see our database table there is no any data now after hit on this uh, URL, so there is an error, undefined variable user name and email. Uh, so I think there is a little bit problem. Let's check. So test user component line 20. So here, so this is the username and email. There is two dollar sign. So for that, it has been made the error now reload again so our data has been saved now so this is actually a simple component uh, use tutorial we have just created our test user component we have just used this in our test method in our users controller so that was today's tutorial thank you for watching welcome for the next tutorial